Even the largest community college system in North Texas can put an eraser to paper and they can make a change. Steve Pickett is live for us at El Centro College in Dallas. Specifically, we're talking about thousands of students who will be affected with what you're about to tell us, correct? Yeah, not only here at El Centro, but throughout the college district system. That's seven schools, part of the community college district. They're going to change that into one big college, Doug, for the benefit of students in the long run, they say. Andreas Hernandez is a pretty busy college student these days. Only I go uh, to uh, Richland Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I go to Brookhaven on Tuesday and Thursday. That's right. The 20 year old's goal of a biomedical engineering degree includes dividing up his college career on two Dallas County Community College campuses. And he's not alone. Hundreds divide their coursework among the seven DCCCD schools. And without dedicating at least one quarter of their work to one school, Hernandez can't get a Dallas Community College degree. Right now, I guess that's news to me. I didn't even know about that. I guess if, if I didn't hear from you right now, it would have probably caught me off guard. We've inadvertently harmed students when uh, we're really here to support and help them. Community College District Chancellor Joe May today saying the seven colleges of the district will merge into one academic institution. El Centro, Mountain View, Richland, and the others will end operations as separate schools to ensure students like Hernandez can accumulate all college credit regardless of the Dallas Community Colleges he attends. Upon learning that we were actually in the way of, of, of uh, having students be able to uh, receive the degree that they earned, I just couldn't let it uh, ride anymore and, and have that continue to happen students uh, to students when we know in fact it could be solved. In fact, last year, 1,300 students of this college district system, they could not get proper credit because they only spent less than 25% on one main campus. You can't get credit unless you actually define one of these schools as your school. That will change with this proposal where you have one big school and seven different campuses. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.